Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, you are going to learn how to add Google Analytics tracking code on your site so that you'll be able to track your visitors' activities and you'll be able to utilize the data on future campaigns. So in this video, I'm going to add the tracking code here on this website. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to visit Google Analytics page. So let me go here, Google Analytics, and make sure you are signed in with a Gmail account. So after visiting the Google Analytics page, you have to click on Start Measuring, and then we have to set up our Analytics account, and then we have to add our property so that we'll get the code that we need to add to our website. So here, as an example, account name, I'm going to give, let's say, Doric. Rafi, just as an example, you have to provide your information. After that, go a little bit down and keep all of these three selected. And if you want to get emails about Google products and services, you can select this one as well. But I'd love to uncheck this one. Then let me click on this next button. After that, it is going to take us to this page where we have to add our property. So I'm going to add my property name. So you have to basically you have to provide your website name here. So as a property name, I'm going to add Doric Rafi once again as it is just an example purpose after that you have to select your reporting time zone so here currently it is selected to united states based on your need you can change the country and then change the time zone as well after that the currency us dollars then you can actually select whatever uh, currency you'd love to see the reporting of now i'd love to keep them as they are after that i'd love to click on next and then we have to provide some information according to our business um, match. So I'd love to go with small. After that, we are going to, okay, so basically I have to select the industry category from here. So let me see computer, is there anything for tech? Uh, depending on your business niche, you actually have to provide the information. So I'm going to select internet and telecom. After that, small business. And then the data that I'd love to track. I just have to select all of these options. After that, we have to click on create. Now it is going to take us and show us this Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. Simply, you can select your country from here and then read the agreement information from this uh, page. Now, after reading all the agreements, simply you have to click on I also accept the data processing terms as required by GDPR. Then you have to click on I accept. And this is for the email notification. So I would love to move like this. Okay. After that, we have to choose our platform. So as we want to add the tracking code on a website, so I'm going to click on web from here. After that, we have to go back and then let's just open this URL in a new tab and let's copy the code, uh, copy the domain name from here. Let's go back to the analytics paste the domain name here make sure you are removing this forward slash and these https or www things because these are already added here now the stream name again i'd love to give doric rafi and depending on your condition you have to provide the name after that you can keep this enhanced measurement active and so that you will be able to see all of these things appearing here right so now let me click on create stream And here we go, we have got the measurement ID here. Now it's time to copy this code from here. Let's click here. After that, let's go back to our Doric website control panel. And then I'm going to click on edit site. After that, on the site settings, let's click on this. And then we have to click on integrations. And after that, I have to paste the copied code, which is the Google Analytics code. And now let's click on cross and make sure you are clicking on this publish button so that the code will be updated on your site. Now let's go back to the analytics page. Now we can simply cross this out. Let me take you here on reports and let's just visit this website on an incognito mode. Let me go here, paste. Okay, so we have just visited for once. Now let's go back to our main page and after that you are going to see some activities will appear here on let's say real time. 
and okay it's not yet updated so it might going to take like two to five minutes to get everything working and you should see some data appearing here as you can see here all users one as i have visited one time um, the website so we are so we have just started seeing the data so this is how you have to connect your google analytics tracking code with your doric website and get the data so i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like and if you have got any further question please feel free to let us know by commenting below and thank you so much for staying with us have a good day bye bye